In this video, we're going to take a look at an individual integral. We're going to be looking at the integral of sine x plus cosine x quantity squared dx. All right, now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this expression and we're actually going to multiply that out. So we've got a formula. You could just FOIL it because it's two binomials, but there is a formula a plus b to the second power, and you could easily square the first term plus two times the first term times the second term, and then plus b squared. All right, you'll get the exact same result if I take that binomial and FOIL it out. So a little bit of algebra here. We'll have sine squared x plus two sine x cosine x, and then plus a cosine squared x. We'll go ahead and put that all in a set of parentheses there, dx. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a Pythagorean identity. We know that sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals one. All right, and I have a sine squared x and a cosine squared x there that is being added. So I could replace that with a one. So then we're gonna have the integral of a one, putting those two together and replacing there, plus our two sine x cosine x. We'll put a set of parentheses around that, dx. All right, now, um, not that you would necessarily need to separate this, uh, but let's go ahead and separate this into two individual integrals. So we'll have the integral of a one dx plus an integral. Let's go ahead and pull that two out in front. And then we'll have a sine x cosine x. All right, and then our dx. Okay, so two separate integrals like that. Now, this one's going to integrate really easy. It's just going to be an x. All right, over here, we're going to need a u substitution. So let's go ahead and integrate this down to an x. All right, and then remember that this will carry all the way down. So for this integral right here, we're going to do a u substitution. All right, so let's put that over here. Let's say our let u equal sine x. All right, we'll take the derivative of both sides. So we'll be a du is equal to a cosine x dx. All right, and then we'll go ahead and solve all the way down for that dx. So we'll have a du over cosine x equals dx. All right, so there's our u substitution. We're going to come back over here to this original integral then and start replacing things. So we'll have two, we'll have the integral. I'm going to replace the sine x with a u. We're going to leave the cosine x. We'll replace dx with what that equals, which is a du over a cosine x. That's going to then allow us to cross off those cosine x's. So we will have an integral just in terms of u. So we'll have our x here to the integral u du. All right, now we are to the place where this is just a straightforward integration. So we'll have x plus two, okay, times, if we integrate this, we'll add one to that exponent, so we'll have a u to the second power, and then that'll give us a one half there in front. And then we can go ahead and put that plus c, because now we have completely integrated both parts. All right, if we go through and do a little bit of simplifying here, two times one half, that's going to be a one, and then let's go ahead and replace u in this next line. So we're going to have the x here. These two things are one, replacing u with sine, we'll have a sine squared x, and then a plus c. All right, so after a little bit of algebra manipulation at the beginning, then it pretty much becomes a straight u substitution type of integral. But definitely the easiest way to go about this would be to FOIL that out. And then recognizing that you've got a Pythagorean identity there that you can do a substitution, gets it down to an integral, which is very doable. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.